The lesson plan that I did was for third graders, and they're going to learn to draw their own bar graphs. Third graders need to be able to eventually take data and make different graphs with the data. They need to be able to analyze the data to answer questions like how many more, which is less, and how much more. My third graders usually struggle with remembering to label everything um, on the graph. I've noticed that to be a really big problem. The objectives for this lesson plan are um, the students will create a scaled bar graph representing data and analyze the results, and the students will formulate labels and a title for their bar graphs. In gaining attention, in order to gain the attention, um, we will begin by looking at graphs, a graph of all the class birthdays and answering questions with that. I think engaging them with something that um, matters to them in real life and they just love their birthdays and love seeing who has the same birthday month as, they, as them. Uh, so it would be a very engaging gaining attention activity. My third graders are used to an I can statement to learn about their objectives. So their I can statement is I can create a bar graph using data and answer questions. and stimulating recall of prior learning. At this point, we'll look at several bar graph examples and see what is included in them. And while we're doing this, we can, uh, as I'm labeling uh, the graphs that I have examples of, they will be making a list of what they need to um, include. That way, they can use that list later on when we're doing the activity. Presenting the stimulus. Um, Students will be told um, that they will be graphing a bag of Skittles, which will be very exciting to them. They love to have that candy. Um, they'll be given a, bag, a baggie of Skittles. And second, they will be told to get the corresponding crayon colors for the Skittles in their bag, um, a pencil, a ruler, and the white graph paper. I'm going to remind them that what they have written down that we just went over um, has to be included in the graph, so remind, uh, remind them to take that with them. And then last, when they're all finished with that, they're going to have four questions to answer about their graph. In providing learner guidance while we're working on this activity, um, while they're starting to count their Skittles and collect their data, I'll go ahead and do the same thing on a document camera um, so that they can see the steps as they're doing them. Um, some will choose to follow along, some will move ahead um, at their own pace. Um, this example that I do serves also as a self-correction tool for those that kind of move ahead too fast. If they look up and they see that they haven't done something or they've done something incorrectly, they can go ahead and change it. Um, and then eliciting learner performance. Um, after I'm done with my example or even while I'm doing my example, I'll be able to spend time looking at each student's graph and be able to commend them on what they're doing well, as well as give them a little bit of feedback on what they can change. On assessing their performance, um, after doing the activity on their own and, and having the application of it, um, in order to assess their performance, we'll go ahead and collect data on um, their favorite flavor of ice cream, vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. Once they finish their votes, they can go ahead and make a bar graph on their own with the results and answer some questions to complete. In order to enhance retention and transfer of learning and be able to put this into a real life situation of when we would use this, um, these results that we've analyzed, um, now they've created this bar graph of ice cream, um, we have some first grade reading buddies that we want to invite for an ice cream party. So they're going to have to, when the reading buddies come down to the classroom, they're going to have to ask them their favorite flavor of ice cream. Um, and then they're going to have to graph out um, not only the first graders, but our class as well, and be able to analyze it and know how many of each, how much of each flavor to buy at the grocery store. And it'll be interesting, you know, to see if actually get the we get the actual right amount of chocolate vanilla and strawberry